Bartlett's test of sphericity, that's, that's what we're going to be focusing on. And Bartlett's test of sphericity, notice first of all that it is significant. It's less than 0 0.05, and it approximates a chi-square distribution, so we can consider it chi-square distributed. And what this is testing is, it's actually testing whether this correlation matrix are these variables, so item 1 with 2, item 1 with 3, item 2 with 3, and so on, this entire triangle, are these variables, are they correlated significantly different than zero? But unlike the correlation matrix, it doesn't test each individual correlation separately, but what it does is, in one overall test, it assesses whether these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, are these 10 correlations taken as a group, do they significantly differ from zero? Okay, and more precisely, for those who are familiar with matrix algebra, it's testing whether this correlation matrix is significantly different than an identity matrix. And an identity matrix just has ones along the main diagonal and zeros in all other places. So in other words, it's a matrix where variables are not correlated whatsoever with each other. But as always, a variable correlates 1.0 with itself. So it has ones on the main diagonal zero everywhere else. And the fact that this is significant, and it's extremely significant, the p-value is very small, it gives us confidence that our variables are significantly correlated. So once again, that's testing whether the variables as a set, does this matrix, does this group of variables differ significantly from all zeros here? And it definitely does. So that's what that test measures.